All right, so question from the audience. Hi, Ian, is DeFi based, are DeFi based projects uh, the new honey trap, like ICOs back in 2017? So is DeFi a trap? Uh, good question. Uh, I think it's still too early to be a trap, but I mean, it is looking like DeFi is going to be the new bubble. Um, I, I could see DeFi being the catalyst that takes Ethereum past its all time high and takes all these other altcoins with it as well, or actually probably even takes all the other altcoins to the all time highs a lot faster than, than Ethereum. Cause th there've been several alts, most of them DeFi that have already surpassed the all time highs already. So I think DeFi is definitely something to keep an eye on, but kind of like with ICOs, regulators haven't really stepped in to kind of chime in and share their, their opinions on how DeFi handles compliance, KYC, AML, all that. Uh, and I think it's going to be very interesting when they do. Uh, but at this point, I think what most products are uh, trying to rely on is not being security, right? So for example, with Compound, Compound has decentralized their token. So I think what, what could possibly work uh, if all these other DeFi protocols and tokens follow the same path as Compound uh, and become decentralized, uh, basically kind of like what the SEC has said about Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum can be traded on, on public markets now, but they're not viewed as securities. So because now they're fully decentralized. So if this is the pathway to issuing a DeFi token where the community owns it, they own the, they own the majority, there isn't really like a, a token sale per se that is issued out to the community and just for governance, the, pl the platform and product is, is already built. If that's the model to circumnavigate having to deal with regulators, oh man, I think to the moon and beyond. Uh, Bill, what's your, what's your take? All right, a couple things. So you'll know DeFi is for real if it can survive the first big dip in the crypto market overall without getting wrecked, right? So DeFi has been able to go up while Bitcoin's hanging out. The question is, how does DeFi behave if there's a correction in the broader crypto market? We, I don't know the answer to that yet. Now, again, going back to things my dad used to say, I can understand how people would be worried about a bubble in DeFi. But what we're being asked here is it says, he used to say, when people ask me when to sell, buy. And when people <laughs> ask me when to buy, sell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I understand that in DeFi, there may be this fear that it's ICO part two. Okay, for the moment, I'm going to fade that and just say, just keep buying the dips until you're wrong, right? Uh, because again, you know, is your house good collateral? Is your commercial real estate good collateral? What's, you know, is our Uncle Sam's bonds good collateral? Right. Yeah. You know, you got to consider the bigger, you got to consider the bigger picture. I understand what this reader is saying. I respect it, but you know, when everyone's afraid to buy DeFi, buy DeFi. <laughs> right. <laughs> when, when nobody's afraid, everyone's like, Oh, this is free money. Then get out. Yeah. I think that's, that's well said. So if we pull up here, this is DeFi pulse.com in a way it's kind of like the coin market cap for DeFi. So DeFi now is at $1.64 billion in terms of total value locked up. So back in April, it was 644 million. So they've added a billion dollars since April. I mean, that's, that's pretty insane. So I, mean, I think it is approaching scary territory. Um, but I would say it also depends on how you're using DeFi. If you're just putting your stablecoin, your tether, your die, whatever, and just lending that out to get interest, then I, there isn't really that much risk. But if you're doing it with leverage, then I, you should definitely be cautious. Because, uh, I mean, I myself don't really advocate leverage, especially for, for crypto, because crypto is very volatile. And it, even professionals get wrecked. Uh, and this year, back in March, uh, Adaptive, Adaptive Capital, one of the, the more well-known crypto funds, one belly under, right? Or, or belly up is a term, I believe, right? Because on one day when they least expected it, despite all the technology that, that they had, everything just got wiped out because their models could, didn't really predict 
or know what would happen with equities, with the liquidity risk and the, the rush to liquidity. And even, even on, on Wall Street, right? But back in 1998, long-term capital management, right? They had all the quants in the world, people from Harvard and, every, and PhDs, and they, they, they got wrecked and had to basically close. So leverage, I mean, leverage is a, is a drug. And with all drugs, the uh, best thing to do is to stay drug-free, in my, in my opinion. <laughs> all right. Um, let us know what you think uh, down in the comments below.